Hey guys, it's your girl Saray and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am just blessed to be alive. I'm blessed to be healthy. I'm blessed to be able to live to see another year. You know, it's crazy because when I was a lot younger, I would feel some type of way because my mom wanted me and my entire family. She wanted us to all be in church or if we were not at church at home, praying into the new year. When I was a lot younger, before I truly started my spiritual journey with the Lord, Lord, I didn't understand why my mom wanted us to do that. I didn't understand. I wanted to be like everybody else. I wanted to hang out and have fun and go to a New Year's Eve party and this and that like everybody else did. But I didn't realize that my mom, what she was doing was one, she was showing us how to properly bring in the New Year. And two, she was showing us that all these things that other people are doing, all these things that seem fun to the world, it's literally just to satisfy your flesh. And it's not even going to to give you eternal happiness. What truly is going to give you eternal happiness and eternal life is the Lord. I'm just so thankful that my mom instilled that in me as a little girl, even a teenager and a young woman, because it is really easy to get caught up in all of the craziness that's going on in the world, wanting to experience things that seem like fun, things that people are making it seem like it's fun. As a result, it's just going to destroy you. Hey guys, do not mind like the gel and stuff my hair but i just wanted to mention because i realized that i did not go into at least a little bit more detail about this i was specifically talking about sinning i was not talking about like going out with your family and friends and having innocent fun i'm not talking about that i'm talking about what the world classifies as fun i believe it's isaiah chapter 5 and verse 20 where it pretty much talks about how in the last days good will be considered evil and evil will be considered as good so it's very important to pray and ask god for discernment if something feels off with your spirit nine times out of ten you don't need to be doing it so yeah i just wanted to clear that up i was not talking about having like good clean innocent fun i'm thankful for the revelations that god gives me i'm thankful to have such an amazing mother that showed me how to properly go about doing things especially when it comes to going into the new year yeah you guys i'm not even trying to talk that long i was not even trying to talk that long but i just felt like i needed to say that it's very important to be intentional about how you bring in the new year my favorite necklace just broke anywho it's just very important to start off the new year praying asking the lord to show you what you need to know praying and asking the lord for financial blessings for amazing relationships for you to receive that spiritual wisdom that you do need just a recap of 2023 not too much but i just feel like 2023 was just for me a year of learning i had to learn a lot of things for myself and i learned that you cannot depend on man and what i mean by man is literally men and women like have to depend on the Lord because man will let you down. I talked a little too much. Um, as you guys can see, new hair. This was just a wig that I just threw on real fast because I'm tired of the other one. I want to look different. I don't want to look the same. That's just how I've been. But anywho, you guys, today's video is going to be a reset with me. We're going to be resetting for the new year. So I have quite a few things on my list. This is going to be, I guess you could say, collective vlog style. So now we're about to go over to Hobby Lobby to get things for my prayer board. <laughs> shame to even mention how much I spent on like the supplies and stuff for this prayer board. I'm not even gonna bring that up but I did want to show you guys this is the bag that I wore today. I may go out again later on I'm not too sure but this is my bag of the day. I went to Hobby Lobby first then I went to the Dollar Tree and then after that I went to Food Lion so I got some more almond milk because I needed some more. Miracle Whip I call these breakfast on a stick. I think it's three days later and I'm finally at Aldi's. It's been a very long time since I've even been in Aldi's. So I got these two tote bags. I'm actually going to be getting fruits and vegetables so I can juice. I'm back at home. I got as many things as I could. There was not a huge selection in that Aldi's. I was just gonna run through everything real fast with you guys, all the stuff that I got. I'm kind of in a rush because I have to go and drop something off. I went to Aldi's and I also went to Walmart. So 
From Aldi's, I got two things of coconut water, three pineapples. I'm so glad that I brought two bags because this was just enough for the things that I got. Three pineapples, I got two stalks of celery, two bags of whole carrots, four cucumbers, two things of blueberries, two bags of lemons, two bags of oranges, a bag of red apples, two bags of green apples from Walmart. I got some beetroots, four mangoes, four limes, a ginger root. I could not find turmeric root at all in Walmart or in Aldi, so I obviously could not get that. Organic cilantro, and then I got some parsley, and I got two pepperoni calzones. Good morning, you guys. I don't even know how long it's been since I last filmed for this vlog. I'm about to get ready. I'm going to just do skincare and then start cleaning downstairs. I want to take down the Christmas tree and the other decorations. I haven't gotten to yet, so I do have my green juice that i made like three days ago gotta hurry up and drink it so yeah i got these little eye patches on and i'm about to do my skincare before i go downstairs i want to start taking better care of my skin I need to hurry up because i have less than two hours to get whatever i need to get done <laughs> So that's really exciting. I'm about to open up this box and start putting it together. You guys already know I have my own drill set, so I'm going to be using that. I just gotta go. different these past two days have been kind of crazy i decided to step out of my comfort zone and style my natural hair in a different way it doesn't look the best but it still was cute for what i needed it to do i did two braids going in the opposite direction I have my hair in the back split in half and then i just like did two big braids one braid on each side so yeah that's the style i just put them in like little space buns for now i think that this is okay for now because i really needed to give my hair a break i had those cornrows in my hair from when i was wearing wigs and stuff for like three months i think or almost three months i think tonight we are actually going to do the prayer board i've been slacking a lot of stuff has been going on on, but I do have some exciting news to share with you guys, but it's not gonna be in this vlog There is so much that I have to do. I have to clean the kitchen I started on the dishes, but I did not finish them. I've got to clean my bathroom I've got to clean two different rooms upstairs Like I still have to <laughs> take down the Christmas decorations didn't even do that Even though I planned on taking them down early, but yeah, that didn't happen. This just needs to be taken care of I need to get my life together. It's been like maybe two or three days since you guys last saw me. I actually did do a huge majority of the things that I said that I wanted to do on camera when I talked to you guys last. My scalp is like super, super dry. So yeah, I have to film some UGC content and I was sitting here oiling my hair and oiling my scalp and I was like, what am I gonna do with my hair? I can go like this and make it like a curly, puff thing in the back. I'm not taking the rest of my hair down until like later on tonight. This, I feel like if I take these braids out, it's not gonna look the way that I want it to look. I can either go like this, or I can take a claw clip and clip it up. Yeah, I think I might do that. All right, let's try it again. I got myself a scrunchie. I never do stuff like this. Like I always alternate between three different styles, but this year I want to be different and actually start experimenting more with my natural hair. Does that look weird? I feel like that looks weird. I just feel like if my hair is out, then I will be able to, you know, pay more attention to it and stuff instead of like putting it away. Ooh, 
something's pulling my hair i don't know how this looks in the back how does this look you guys i, I feel like it probably looks crazy uh I'm gonna have to take a picture. Okay, girl, so this is what I ended up doing with my hair. This is a bun that's not even tight. And then I just did some lip liner and I put on this snakeskin top with some black slacks. And I already finished the video. I edited it and then I submitted it to the company. And now I'm about to wash my hands and go downstairs to get something to eat. I have so much that I have to do. I just got back from the Dollar Tree because I just randomly made an impulsive decision. And I was like, I want to organize one of these drawers and go and get some cute little organized bin things to put in this drawer so let me show you guys what I did I went ahead and organized this drawer right here I put all of the different teas that were originally in this cabinet I also got some plastic straws and then metal and glass straws in here and then the little straw tips in here that's what I did right here and I didn't show you guys I actually set this up it was just a little bit after Christmas but I set this up Don't don't mind this stuff down here, but I wanted to show you guys this little snack bar that I got off of Amazon. I organized all the things that I had so far. So I have ginger ale, we have hot cocoa, hot cocoa, hot cocoa, bottled water. And then down here we have a couple of snacks. I've been like eating on them. Then we have some cereal, a milk frother, and then the tumblers that I have so far. If you guys cannot tell already, I love to organize things this is perfect for when company comes over if somebody is thirsty or whatever got ice in the freezer they can come over here and grab what they want if they want a little snack it's right there i just gotta you know buy some more snacks and stuff to put there i'm about to make the sweet drink that i was telling you guys about this is going to be a cookie butter milkshake so pretty much you just use what you use to make a milkshake ice cream and milk and then you just add the Biscoff cookie butter and then the Biscoff cookies. I add about three, three to four max. It's just four ingredients. So let's get all the stuff that we need. We already got two. gonna taste like i may have this junk at least 10 times by now let's go ahead and taste it mm -mm -mm. every time i make this it tastes so good but if you really 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 want it to be sweet add more of this yeah this junk tastes bomb if you don't like this cookie butter flavor you probably won't like this but it tastes pretty good girl that is it what we are about to do is i'm about to play some gospel music and we are going to just put this board together. I'm not going to show my entire prayer board, but I do want to go over just a couple of the categories with you guys. One for sure is to pray over relationships like family, friends, personal relationships. And then another one would be faith. And then another one would be strength. So I want to do one, two, three, four, five. Six. I want to do about eight different categories of things that I want to pray over and continuously pray over throughout the year. So yeah, you guys, I'm super excited, but I don't know how I want to decorate this. I'm going to put this prayer board together. You guys are going to see some of it. And then that's going to be the end of the video, you guys. Oh, 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 oh,